Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Once to Watch is here. I'm loading in at 6 p.m. UK to see what content we're getting today, and I stopped here because this is the first screen that I saw. We're going to go over all the new content that came out today with the Once to Watch promo in FIFA 21, SBC objectives, packs, whatever is in there right now, and then talk about the market impact of that afterwards and what's going to be happening to the rest of the day on the game. So this looks like... We are going to be getting, if you pre-order the game before August 14th to get that once to watch pre-order pack, it looks like that is going to be released today. It says that player pack will be released today. So this is hopefully waiting for me inside of foot. And I'm guessing here in the store that it is. It looks like once to watch team one is packs. And yes, that is my pre-order pack right there. I'm going to save that just for now. But I want to look in the store. First of all, since we're here, did they put out any packs? Wow, man, they did prime premium electrum player packs, five of them, which is going to supply silvers and golds with three rares and then 15k packs. So they actually did go ahead and put some special packs in the store today. Interesting. This is going to put more coins on the market than if they didn't. So that's kind of interesting that they put out some of these packs. So if you guys are ripping packs today, uh, definitely do those. I mean, that's definitely your FIFA point value increase over opening a 7.5k pack but that to me just means more supply for the low rated cards and more coins on the market so that higher rated cards like a sun messi mbappe cristiano ronaldo players like that can go even higher with more coin supply on the market now let me check sbcs because we were expecting that sbc player pick today and that is what we got tiago silva tiago silva's sbc 85 rated of course what are the requirements for this we have one Premier League player, 82 rated, 80 chemistry. Yo, EA, can we chill? They're, they're continuing the high chemistry train from last year at the end of FIFA 20. But that's a pretty easy squad to do. I'm just, you know, how how many informs is Thiago Silva going to get, man? If we're being completely honest, how many informs is this guy going to get? But if you need a Premier League center back and you don't mind uh, a little bit of slow pace, uh, this could maybe be your guy as an 85 rated card. 82, 82 rated squad probably doesn't cost that much, so... It could be useful as SBC fodder somewhere down the road if you got a bunch of 82s in your club. Uh, was that the only SBC that came out today? No pack supply SBC? Uh, these kits, I think, have been here. So it just looks like it was just this Thiago Silva. Of course, we got the Prem Player of the Month, Calvert-Lewin, this morning. A little overpriced, again, for my liking. I'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, let me check objectives real quick. Objectives, objectives. What is here? Ones to watch Diogo Jota. Okay, how hard is this to get? interesting uh four separate squad battles matches assist through ball and rivals matches okay you don't have to win any of those assist in squad battles score 10 finesse goals and rivals using premier league players and score two wow you don't have to get any wins for this is that what i'm reading you do not have to get any wins to get this jota that is a gg that means a lot of people are going to get this card especially because he's liverpool he is a new transfer wants to watch of course there are 12 days to do this it says all rewards are untradeable. You get a gold pack, a 75 plus rated player, small Electrum premium, Electrum players pack. That This is a really solid objective, man. I do not mind this at all. I'm a little bit scared for some of the low rated like left wings in the Prem. Uh, this might cause a little bit of dropping on some of those cards. We'll take a look at those in a second. Um, are there any other objectives? The ones to watch kit. Uh, you have to do a foot friendly. There's a new Allegiance foot friendly. What is that? uh new allegiance foot friendly interesting is there any any community events is okay human versus machines all right so there's a foot friendly objective to get a wants to watch kit that's a gg the one thing i'm kind of curious about right off the bat is they're continuing all objectives through squad battles and rivals i was hoping to see maybe this first objective would have some sort of like live foot friendlies tie-in or like something with foot friendlies just to make it different uh but at least right now it looks like it's just rivals and squad battles uh, for for this objective. But that I think the, the Jota is the biggest W of the day uh, in terms of what content that we got. Now, of course, I think we are looking for some of these new cards that are on the market. Of course, there's probably a lot of supply coming right now. Do we have any special Gareth Bales up on the market? Wants to watch Bale? Oh, it looks like he's 500,000 coins start price. And he's getting listed pretty quickly. Interesting. Now, this card's maybe... Um, wow. He's already at 400,000 coins. Inter wow, man. This is going to be an interesting one to watch, bro. I know that Bale is injured right now and he's not playing for Spurs just yet, but Bale is supposed to be back for Spurs, I think, next weekend. So that's going to be an interesting one. How much is Timo Werner? 
I don't like usually getting involved with this stuff right away off the bat. Oh, dude, Timo Werner is going to be expensive. Yep. All right. I'm just going to get rid of the price filter. How much is Timo? Timo's at 1 mil. Oh, 1 million coins for Timo Werner. That is very expensive. Uh, is there any at 900K? It looks like, yeah, 900, 850,000 coins. Let these guys get supplied, especially um, with some of the new packs that came out. I would definitely let these guys get supplied. I'm guessing that the rest of the market as well is getting kind of pummeled right now. Uh, I always use this Tamori card as like my kind of uh, baseline for lower rated cards with all of these extra packs that came out today. I bet this guy's getting just hammered with supply. He went back up last night a little bit, but I bet there's a lot of these cards. Yeah, look at all these first owner listings. Look at the undercuts, bro. So many packs are being opened right now. It's crazy. So yeah, getting into the market side of things, how is this going to affect the market today? You're going to see tons of undercuts on cards like this. And there's going to be a lot of cards that I think will maybe take a quick dip from here on out in the next couple hours, and then probably rise back up really nicely after this. Even a guy like Usman, um, and I want to show you guys some prices from last night as well. Usman, look at all these listings, man. 59, 60,000 coins or 69 or 70,000 coins. A lot of high tier players last night on the game got uh, hit in price a lot. We're talking Ronaldo. We're talking Messi. A lot of those guys really, really dipped down in the morning this morning heading to the content like Neymar. Check this out for Neymar, bro. Neymar is 1.02 mil. This guy was like 1.2 million coins is down 200k. These guys are going to be the ones that can really, really go up after this with all this coin inf inflation and coin supply on the market. Same thing with some other players like Mbappe. Mbappe was almost 1.516. Now he's down to 1.3. Um, let me look. Aubameyang is under 300k. Wow. Yeah. So some of these cards are getting low. I don't mind if you're sniping stuff right now. I think you're going to see a market rise. That's why we we maybe invested a little bit too early yesterday. But in the grand scheme of things, it's going to be just fine. Because a lot of these cards that are very meta, that are, are high rated. Mertens would be one that I'm a fan of. Messi's down so much, man. Goodness gracious. Ramos, Ronaldo, Hazard, all players like that. I would expect them to be rising in the next couple of days. Joe Gomez as well. Let me take a look at our boy Joe Gomez, right? How much is Joe gomez uh probably right around 100,000 coins yeah yeah joe, joe gomez is getting a supply right now as an 83 rated but this is a card that is definitely going, going to be flying and a lot of people are going to be sitting here sniping this card so i would expect these cards to go up certainly or, or pretty pretty fast i would expect to see a rebound on the market definitely tonight into tomorrow and saturday and we'll cover it again later tonight in a second video uh but i just wanted to get on today and show you the new content and continue to talk about how this market could be affected. One thing I do want to notice is that live transfers number right there. We were at live transfers uh, right around like 5 million, I think, for most of the week. Last week is like our peak. This number is going to get very high, very inflated. I'm, I'm thinking like 8 or 9 million live transfers on the market here very, very soon. One thing I haven't looked at yet is this wants to watch webpage. Um, is there anything in here that is interesting? Of course, they put the team one cards in here, uh, just like they did with the top 1,000 ratings. It's all the cards we thought were coming out that were released yesterday, so this is nothing new. Um, let's see. It looks like once to watch items are going to get upgraded the same way for team of the week, man of the match, European team of the tournament, or hero items. And then team one is in packs until next Friday at 6 p.m. And then after that, team two will be in packs. Uh, and again... Uh, if you want to save your pre-order, like your wants to watch pre-order pack, like I still have right now in my store, if you open that after October 21st, so if you wait two weeks, uh, then you will get any player out of any of the ones to watches. But if you open it today or through the first week, it says on the right side of your screen too there, uh, you'll get a team a player from team one. If you open it next week, a player from team two. So that is very interesting that we got promo packs today that's crazy if you guys are on the market right now and you have some coins i have a few coins uh so i'm gonna probably look to maybe snipe a few cards uh one thing i do want to check right away is um team of the week players now this is this is common when there's when there's promo packs that get on the market like this a lot of stuff gets supplied and a lot of stuff takes a hit with kind of like a big juice of supply right away and then rebounds quickly the stuff that's going to rebound fast is going to be those meta cards so definitely watch out this same maximum was like 220 this morning um, if I look at some more of the team of the week, two cards, how much is Holland? How much is this guy right now? Is he like 220 as well? Uh, he's not 220. He's a little bit more 240. 
Uh, Holland is like 230, 240. So he's definitely going to be going up later tonight, in my opinion. Uh, Harry Kane, Renato Sanchez, Teo Hernandez, all getting supplied probably today. It might not be a bad day if you want to do a little bit of investing on some discard informs because they required an inform today, I believe, for the... I think they required an inform for Calvert-Lewin. Uh, it looks like if that's happening already, then they are not going to be scared to require informs for SBCs throughout the rest of this year. Um, because Calvert-Lewin's SBC is coming in. Yeah, team of the week player for the first ever player of the month. The EA ta or the Premier League uh, overpriced. A lot of stuff from the Premier League is overpriced in terms of SBCs because EA know they can get people to pay more. And that's happening right away off the rip with this first player of the month. Uh, my opinion on this Calvert-Lewin is why you get this SBC when you can just go get yourself a Gabriel Jesus for the same price, get better links and have a better, more meta card in my opinion. But if you're an Everton fan, English fan, this might be a card for you. You could work your way up to it. It's, it's out for 30 days, so you got plenty of time to get it if you want it. But again, stuff I see happening on the market today, probably like right now in the next hour or two or so, probably a little bit of a drip, a dip on the market as prices and stuff gets packed. The lower rate stuff is just going to continue to move down. And then stuff that is meta is going to bounce back and probably rise into the next couple of days. Um, and I don't think there's anything today. There's only one thing today that we didn't get, and that was... The guaranteed team of the week pack and the deadline day pack. So um, let me see if that um, FIFA 21 wants to watch that deadline day um, pack. I think that's going to be coming out tomorrow then. If it's not coming out today, I think it's going to be in... Uh, it's going to be coming out tomorrow on Saturday, I believe. I think that is what we're going to be looking at. What does the webpage say right here? Uh, yes, 13 hours from now. So it's actually going to be at a weird time. Um, but I think we might see that deadline day pack tomorrow with the guaranteed team of the week card. So you might see some of the team of the week cards bounce back up tonight from team of the week two. some of these cards right here. And then once that pack does come out, you might see a bit of a dip tomorrow. We will see what happens with that. We'll be covering it all here, of course, but wants to watch us here. If you're opening packs, good luck. And of course, if you're trading and, uh, and trying to invest in players in the market, think meta, think high rated. That's where you want to be and what you want to go with today. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. And if you're hyped for the com or for the ones to watch promotion, hit that thumbs up as well. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.